Hey, everybody. <laughs> well, today we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be putting on my, my serious hat here. Are you ready to be serious? Hi, uh, welcome to the Super Pilotish channel. My name is Graham Wilson. Today I'm going to be serious in my basement. Well, I mean, I, I have a hard time being serious anyways, but I was, uh, I'll try my best. And if there's anyone that is serious, I know that Rob Reiner is serious because he's right here live in the chat. So he's, uh, I guess he'll, uh, he's going to have to go out and get some donuts apparently, but that's okay. So welcome, Rob. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk today uh, about, uh, now I, this is sort of a follow-up video for, uh, I did a, a kind of a guessing around and probably not the best video on Wednesday because uh, it was, um, uh, you know, I, I never really thought about it, but being on YouTube, you kind of... People kind of look at you like an expert, even though you're just some dude sitting in your basement. <laughs> so uh, that's okay. Uh, I am an expert, sort of. And uh, oh, hey, Jordan brought the donuts. Awesome. So, okay, I'm going to talk today about, uh, I guess it's sort of a follow up uh, from my video I did before. And uh, I, I did uh, quite a bit of research on this to make sure that I'm uh, the, uh, the good instructor, the flight instructor that I am. And I'm going to get you the real facts on what's going on with this FAA change for uh, pilot medicals. Okay, now, uh, it all started back with, uh, I saw some video. Um, it was uh, Tucker Carlson on Fox News was talking about uh, some guy named Steve Kirsch. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm going to, all this stuff I'm talking about, I'm going to put um, links in the description below to everything I'm talking about. So, you know, I'm not just making it up off the top of my head. And if I am, I'll tell you, I'm making it up. <laughs> so anyways, um, and uh, Jim's here. Hi. And Wrench too. Hi. Um, so yeah, so this guy named Steve Kirsch, he made a, uh, a Substack article, which uh, I'll put a link to it uh, in the description below. And uh, it was one of these articles that uh, I would say it's probably more of an opinion piece than it is uh, hard news reporting. Uh, my understanding and my reader, my reader comprehension level is pretty good. And uh, it's a lot of it was, I suspect that I, in my opinion, uh, this could mean this may something, you know, so it's kind of, it's not, this is definitely it. Here's my facts, you know, so, uh, so it came from that. And then uh, there was another, um, uh, a, I don't know if she's retired or there was a, a Tucker Carlson had this um, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Teresa Long. She was on there and she was kind of talking about, um, uh, how just very, very short, uh, very short little blip video uh, about how she was a uh, Air Force surgeon and she grounded some pilots after they had uh, some uh, COVID-19 vaccines. So <clears throat> anyways, you can take what you want out of that. But uh, uh, so Teresa Long was telling uh, Tucker Carlson that, you know, what you really should do is interview uh, Susan Northrup who is the uh, uh, federal air surgeon. So she works for the FAA uh, and uh, she, uh, yeah, so she's in charge of Dr. Uh, Northrup is in charge of making sure, you know, everything's cool in the medical uh, uh, section of the FAA. So I, I, I kind of Googled that person's name. So this is where I'm being the investigative reporter myself well, on my computer. And uh, so I did see uh, an article uh, well, you know what? First, uh, so, okay, there's the backstory, and then I'm going to get to it later. So what they're really talking about, the change here, is uh, you might have seen in my little thumbnail thing, your ECG. Yes, I got a whiteboard. You betcha. So, and now this ECG is actually drawn properly. <laughs> so it's like uh, before I was just totally guessing, and you shouldn't really do that, you know, but Anyway, so this is a, this is your normal ECG blip, and then that repeats, and then usually it comes out on a long strip of paper, or it could be, you know, uh, uh, interpreted. Maybe it could be even digitally. Uh, and so what I'm going to do, the change that was made by the uh, FAA, I, I will use blue marker for this one, 
uh, was that they were talking about, and I'm going to try to keep this very non-jargony. So, okay. You're, they hook up all these little leads to you. So what the ECG is, uh, what it's measuring is electrical impulses that are uh, throughout your nervous system. So uh, it'll be, so this is, represents, you know, uh, it could be, you know, uh, voltage timing, you know, but it's in very, you know, micro volts kind of really small uh, stuff. And, oh, dude, hey, <laughs> welcome, dude. And, uh, yeah, so what they did was, and this is super simple, is, uh, okay, there used to be a tolerance for, okay, this little, I guess you could say this is kind of on a graph. This would be your... I don't know. We'll say uh, we'll say voltage just for fun over here, and then this is over time. So that would be, uh, yeah. So so this would be a time interval between this little thing and that little thing, and then it'd be another time interval from between here and here, and then the whole thing starts over again. And ideally, you want to keep that um, that rhythm uh, the same. But what can happen? Okay, so this is the change. This one here. So this would say before the, this is in like microseconds, but I still don't want to get too jargony. So we'll just give it a number. Okay. So this is maximum of 0 0.2. Okay. So you got to have a maximum 0 0.2. Uh, now that's the way it was before. It's like, okay, anything over that? Okay. There's something wrong. Go get another exam and uh, we'll see if the, uh, if the pilot's still good to fly. So what they did was, and, and that's uh, pretty standard in the world, and it's always been that way for uh, what is the range of normal. It's 1.2, and the maximum of, uh, uh, what is that, 0 0.2. Okay, so now we're going to do another little, uh, another one of these. Down, up, down, up. Okay, that one looked about the same. Let's erase that. Okay, we're doing this here. Okay, bear with me. Okay, so this is not to scale, of course, and so the new tolerance on that is 0.3 or 300 milliseconds, whatever, third of a second. So we're going to draw that in there. What have we got here? 0 0.3. Okay, so they basically the change was from this to this, and everyone's freaking out saying, whoa, it's not safe. Well, I did some research, and it's like, it, it turns out that this 0 0.2 here, that, that's considered normal all over the place. Um, in Canada, uh, for Canadian pilot medicals, the maximum of 0 0.2, uh, that applies. Uh, and I checked in England, same thing over there. But the Americans just stuck it, changed it to 0.3. So why would they do that? Okay. Now, this is where we get along to. And uh, so the pain. And this here can uh, indicate, or usually does indicate, what they call a, an AV block. And the AV stands for atrioventricular block. So that's a big thing. And I'm not, that's the last jargon I'm going to be talking about like that. But, anyways, there's something that's, it's, um, just the timing in your heart, it's a little bit longer for the signal to go here to say, okay, pump your blood. So, uh, and the, it, it sounds a lot more dangerous than what it is, a Navy block. Um, and apparently it's just like, it's asymptomatic. There's, you know, uh, no one even knows <laughs> that they have it until they check it. And as long as that is regular, so each little segment of your heartbeat between here and here, and then that's added on to the end. As long as that's the same, you're good. What happens uh, if this starts getting longer? So it goes from maximum of 0.3, uh, gets up to like 0 0.35, 0 0.4. And so it'll get longer, 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 and then you'll skip a heartbeat. So And that definitely shows up on your ECG readout. So uh, any missed beats like that, uh, you're going to be, now that's where you get into uh, like the it gets a little bit more complicated, but you're going to have symptoms at that point. And eventually you're probably going to be having a pacemaker installed. So that's that. So that was, uh, it's, a uh, it's an extension 
to the a little tolerance that they have there for your heartbeat that's asymptomatic and uh, generally considered not a big deal i was reading a bunch of articles uh, you know all the way back for i think 2008 was the oldest one that i've read so the general consensus is you're not having any symptoms everything's cool it's just not quite normal now we're going to get back to susan northrop okay and um uh, Dr. Susan Northrup, um, okay, I read in an article, uh, I will read you the article, and hopefully I don't, this doesn't cut out because I'm going to go kind of split screen on my computer here, uh, for the Airline Pilots uh, Association International, uh, or ALPA as it's called. Okay, and so this is from April 2022. I'm just going to read the, the, the um uh, the article here, or the, it was kind of a Q&A article, and I'll link to that below too. So the uh, Alpa asks, uh, what are the biggest health and wellness challenges currently confronting airline pilots? So then uh, Dr. Northrup says, the biggest challenges are the same issues affecting the general population. We're all getting older and coming to terms with basic chronic diseases. We're also getting larger as individuals, consequently AMEs, that's uh, uh, doctors, uh, medical examiners, are documenting more and more cases of sleep apnea, diabetes, and cardiovascular issues. Due to these issues, it's increasingly important that we work with airmen to be certain we're addressing their needs. We want to keep healthy pilots healthy so they can have a long airline career and enjoy flying as general aviation pilots long after that. Okay, so this tells me that she's looking at the job as like, okay, we got to keep these people flying. And there's a, there is a bit of a shortage of pilots right now that are very um, senior and skilled. Uh, there's a shortage of them. There's still lots of uh, low time pilots out there meeting the need, but to get on to flying, flying jets, they need all the uh, seasoned older guys uh, and women that they can get. So uh, yeah, so if they can, I think this little, this was basically a reaction from the FAA to the industry saying, okay, we'll, we'll bend a little bit on this. Uh, there's no symptoms. There's never been any demonstrable uh, safety implications by this. And that'll free up our resources too for going after the really big ones, uh, the big problems where somebody does need a, uh, you know, a pacemaker or there's other issues. So uh that's my take on it it's not a conspiracy to cover up any vaccine damage or anything like that which you kind of could imply uh from the opinion article from the steve kirch guy and then tucker carlson he really likes to i don't know he makes a lot of money by uh getting you to watch and getting you riled up right uh, that's his job so anyways uh so it seems to me that uh it's not really that much of a big deal uh, to um, uh, to well, it's, to go from this to this. Not such a big deal. And and then I was thinking too that usually uh, anything that has to do with flying that I've seen is that uh, it they usually tighten up on regulations, not loosening them. Uh, but then I can then I was thinking about that some more. And for the FAA. Maybe it's for our good freedom-loving Americans that they kind of every once in a while they get rid of rules uh, for a little bit more freedom. They, um, yeah. So I was thinking about what they did over in the states. Is they had uh, uh, there's a, a category of aircraft called a light sport aircraft, and you don't even need a pilot's medical at all to fly those planes. You just need a valid driver's license. And so it's like, okay, uh, that never used to be, but they created that so they could get more people into the industry. And uh, just you know, a little bit less regulation. They're very light aircraft. They're usually, uh, they're not at busy airports or anything like that. And uh, I can also think of when they needed pilots before, um, you, you couldn't be an airline pilot unless you had, like if you had glasses, you could never be an airline pilot before. Um, and then so uh, they, they loosened that restriction a while back uh, that you can, uh, as long as they're corrected to 2020 vision, you can wear glasses now. So they did loosen up the vision requirements there. And uh, yeah, so it's not out of the ordinary for them to loosen up on, on medical requirements 
to meet the needs of the industry. So I, I think it's, uh, if anyone's really concerned about any type of, uh, uh, I don't know, weird conspiracy stuff going on, because I saw it on Tucker Carlson, uh, uh, you're like, calm down, it's cool. Um, and and all that stuff that I was talking about, they'll be in the, uh, if you want to do your own research, <laughs> you can, I'll save you the Google searching, and I'll put that in the uh, description below. And, uh, but yeah, just uh, not really, um uh, uh, not really anything that I can see that would be anything to worry about. So, and uh, that is about it. So, and I've noticed that, like, as the chat's going by here, I'm trying to talk and it's going. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You guys are all chatting over here. And, uh, yeah, nothing to see. Move along. <laughs> uh, what else can I tell you about there? Uh, yeah, I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover. And um, so... I am gonna. I'm just gonna go and do a quick scroll through some of these, uh, some of these uh, comments, and then, like, ideally, when I get my uh, my channel uh, uh, monetized, uh, there might be some super chats in here that I have to address, and that's usually the way people do it on their um, on their YouTube channels. They get monetized, and people pay some cash, and then then it'll be like, oh, someone paid me two bucks, and okay, I'll read their question. So, and it it stands out here. So. Let's see what we got here. Oh, man. Jordan's got pancakes. Oh, man. I didn't get any pancakes today. Jordan's always got pancakes. He's just, he loves rubbing it in. Oh, you got pancakes today. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. What else we got here? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, okay, we're uh, yeah, just kind of reading everything. You know, that's kind of the funny thing is that if I go into some other chat, it's uh, I, I get to interact with everybody that I can throw chats at and everything and have a little conversation. But if you're doing the show, you can't really do that as much. It's kind of tricky. So anyways, uh, yeah, Wrench also says here that the uh, light sport is uh, only a two-seater. Yeah, so... Uh, that that's the way anything in aviation it's uh you have uh like here in canada we have almost the same type of thing it's called a recreational uh pilot permit and you're only allowed to bring one uh you're only allowed to bring one passenger with you so even if it's a four place uh, airplane you can only bring one passenger for that and you can't fly at night there's other restrictions and stuff like that and so uh, that's easier to get. And that medical is also, it's not just a driver. You have to, you, you can do that with what they call a um, category four medical in Canada. And basically you go to the doctor and they say, are you dizzy? Do you have chest pains? You know, have any heart attacks lately? No. Okay. Go flying. But you can only, you can only kill one person. <laughs> but you gotta have a lot more uh, credentials to kill more than that. Oh, that's bad. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be joking like a pilot to other pilots. They don't really, uh, you know, <laughs> you always gotta, pilot jokes can be pretty morbid, <laughs> but uh, you gotta keep it, keep it clean for the uh, people that are afraid to fly and stuff or, you know, if you don't know much about airplanes, yeah, they can definitely be, uh, it, it can be pretty scary to go flying if you don't know anything about how they work and everything. So, uh, here we go. Oh, Corey made it in here today. Cool. Hey, Corey. And, uh, there we go. Okay. That is about it for today. And speaking of, so, you know, Rocky Doggy says it's uh, National Cheese Lovers Day today. Interesting. Might have to get extra cheese on my pizza because I'm having, I'm going to be doing a, there's a new pizza place open up just walking distance from my house here. So it's like, you're going to have to check it out here today and uh, looking forward to it. So um, yeah, Friday, today's Friday pizza day. And then, so what I'm going to do is shut her down and Friday. So yeah, I'll be back on Monday and uh, because I do it the show monday wednesday friday at noon eastern and uh yeah that's about it don't worry about your pilots they're all nice and healthy and everything's cool and uh yeah like and subscribe hey. <laughs> clickbait <laughs> i was thinking about having like some kind of weird clickbait there where i don't know get some big syringe and uh, 
I don't know. But it's like, nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a great weekend, everybody. We're going to shut her down. And thank you for watching. Bye.